There's a threat in the world today, a threat to our way of living, a threat to our society, and maybe even a threat to our very existence. And what is this threat? all didn't i sorry i'm trying to adjust myself Look again he's always adjusting himself adjustable i'm adjustable uh, hey welcome everybody <laughs> this is, <laughs> that is great. we got a smart that ass is in the house great hey but anyway who are you i am the one who am i you are the ass and we are black and white sports collectively black and white sports Back here again for the 16th show from Stadium Tavern, 802 Southwest Street in Indianapolis, Indiana. Check them out. Awesome. Um, let's see, what is it? Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Awesome. They got different different ones, uh, different flavors, different chicken, beef, whatever else. Soft or hard. And it is dine-in only. Dine-in only. No carry-out, so you got to come on in there yep. and get it. No call-ins. You got to come on in, sit yep. down. Enjoy a nice cold beverage. Yep. And then um, on Wednesdays. And on Wednesdays here with us, we have uh, $4 burgers and tots and $4 drafts. Yep. Pints. Pints. Like pints. No, excuse Where me. Excuse sounds me. better. Pints. 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 Yep. Thursdays is Wing Thursday. 35 cent wings. Dine in only again, folks. Yes, Sean. We see you. Family friendly show. I'm going to really try. It shouldn't. There shouldn't be no F-bombs tonight. No, we're going to be good tonight. Yeah, we'll be good. You know, I'm not, uh, I've had some soul searching. And uh, Pacers are already <laughs> not down really, by but eight. It's all right. They'll be all right. So, um, here we go. Oh, Let's start, uh, yes. Start, start the, the show off. Please show off oh, yes. with a bang, as always. Cheers. Ha ha. Ooh, warm you up. So, we are here. Yep. Stadium Tavern, Wednesday. Yes, we are. Um, oh, before we get really going into it tonight, today is yeah. February the 13th. And 21 years ago, And 21 years ago today, Mr. Julian Eugene Thomas joined us. Joined us in the world. He was probably like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came out pretty, pretty large. <laughs> then, Look at his then, head, man. He leveled head. out. <laughs> so, yes, today I have been a parent for 21 years. Congratulations and happy birthday to my nephew. And great job, bro. I'm really proud of you. Yep. And you are doing big things. And that well, he's is got a couple that. things working up right now. Uh, yes, Let's he does. Um, if you uh, know he's probably listening. So, uh, Julian, well, when you Robin. get a hold of when you get a hold of this, go ahead and post your uh, young entrepreneurs thing that you got going on right onto on the in. website. I mean, onto the page. Yep. Um, right now, he is looking for uh, part time work for eligible high school kids and college kids home for the summer. Painting to do. Painting. Um, yep. To yep. work on a couple different paint crews that are Love under painting. his leadership. So he's learning the business world, learning how to manage and control different type of employments Good. and payroll and scheduling and finding the, the jobs, world. the business world. So uh, it's a great opportunity for some young people to make some money and grow mm -hmm. in the um, business financial world. There you go. And on his uh, on his esports thing, what's he got going on? Um, I, still working I, on the I, Rocket League. Yeah, I think uh, he's Ball a little State dormant thing. right now. I well, think he's yeah. got some. I thought he's got some things working in the for Ball State, trying to uh, get their sponsored esports team going so they can compete on the um, ESPN has now um, college teams. College yep. teams for esports. Yep. Oh no, they showing it on ESPN. A lot of it's on um, the Ocho. On the, the, <laughs> the Ocho on ESPN Plus and yep. things like that. So you. In case you can catch some of them late night, so but yeah. uh be on the lookout for that. Oh, oh my god, look we who shows up have tonight. A special guest in nice the house to tonight. You, 
Mr. John no. Wayne. Hold on. Hold on, no, we gotta get the John Wayne Buzzer is in the house, folks. That is awesome. John Wayne has joined yes. us. So we're gonna get him on the mic He's, today. Yes, so, yes, he did say he was gonna make it down sometime yes, and yes. he made it tonight. So that's awesome because then we can talk to him about uh Purdue. <laughs> we can talk to him about Purdue. We'll get uh, uh we'll get some some uh fan analysis yeah. on uh Purdue football and Purdue basketball. All right. And some other Purdue sports that he might follow because he might just be a a half a Purdue fan. He might follow he might not follow wrestling and softball and all yeah. that other stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm sure he can he can kind of join us in our later conversation. Yes, because, because he, he also conversation he earlier. also has an athletic daughter. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes. but I would uh Shout out real quick to my pops, Big Dan. What Just up, got D? A, a hip surgery or hip replacement about, uh, I think, three weeks ago or so. He got his stitches out today. He's going back to work tomorrow. Congrats, Dad. Uh, good job. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Family-oriented show, folks. Damon's over here doing something. <laughs> his volume was up again. What up, Corey? Cool C is in the Andy house. Hatcher. Damon's. Hey, Damon's here, folks. Look, Damon's online. Hey, <laughs> I'm here. So, um, what yeah. do you want to talk about first? Well, let's bring up the Pacers, man. We went to a heck of a game the other night. Had some uh, we did. really good seats, courtesy of Back All Direct. Appreciate it again. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, man, it was a, that was a good game to watch. You know, I will say – that if if anybody from Banker's Life is listening or catches this on any aspect that we put it on, please give a little bit more space in the seats six rows up. That's all I'm saying. Great seats, great view, but man, my big butt, my legs were were. Hey, you know, so you put a five foot seventeen guy <laughs> next to a, a two hundred and eighty pound guy. And we were good for the first six, seven minutes of the game, and then all of a sudden everybody started coming, and we were like, "Man, I can't move." I can't move. move. So we just kind of stuck. I didn't spill my beer though. <laughs> that's what I was worried about. I didn't man. spill my beer. Hey, you know the big guy at the end of the row? Yeah, that was Miles Turner's dad. Really? I kept saying he Ooh. looks familiar. Right. He that looks was his familiar. Dad? And as we were, when I got home, the wife and I was watching the. Um, the post show, yeah, and they flashed a thing with Turner, and he was standing there with his parents. Really? I was like, we "Damn right it!" Next to him. <laughs> we were sitting right next to him. Yeah, we were sitting right next to him. You know, we were shouting huh. distance from uh, Miss Catchings. She should probably know me by now, since all the times that we, you know, run into right. each other with McKenzie right. and basketball, because she's at all the, um, at all the uh, female. Yep tournaments throughout uh, the city, especially the ones up at Grand Park. I think she might have I think she has a little cash into that. In that. Yeah. yeah, so we yeah. see her a lot up there. So, And then I expect to see her a lot here coming up in the summer. Yeah. Because the AAU start, AZU start, then, the season well, starts. I can't remember. Who, who was the other guy that was sitting right, by, right below the, the basket? Who was, God, who was it? Freaking Greg Monroe. Yes. Okay, <laughs> listen. <laughs> this listen, is hilarious, listen. guys. This is crazy. So we're sitting in the seats. We're admiring – the view, like we're really close, you know. Turner looks all huge, you know. What I mean, just dreads, his man bun man just looks bun real funny at the, the moment. And the, yeah, and the, and the mask. <laughs> and then I see Greg Monroe walks underneath the bucket, and he's like jeans or whatever, and he has a freaking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and he's asking, know. "Hey, where's my seat?" Right? <laughs> he's got a ticket. Well, you know, at least, at least they gave him one. Hell. I figured, you know what I mean? So, apparently, hey, be on the lookout for Greg Monroe being added to the Pacers here pretty soon because <laughs> I don't really understand no. what other reason why he would be there. And then 10 minutes later, he's being interview, interviewed interviewed, interviewed, interviewed by J.J. Yeah. And that bright blue suit. <laughs> but I'm telling you, on TV, that suit is really bright. But in real life, that thing lit up the whole tunnel. <laughs> it did. That it did. That it did. But that was a heck of a game. Uh oh. Pacers, uh oh. Uh, we what? got Alabama in the house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Brian, what's we got, happening? Yeah, Alabama in the house. 
I'm still not yelling out Roll Tide, so you got to put that, not me. Yes, you are correct, John. Those were trophy wife seats. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> there was a whole lot of trophies. And let me tell you, oh, man. there was a whole lot of, let's say, 50, yeah. 50, let's say 48 to 54-year-olds with a whole lot of 28 to 32-year-olds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I man. mean, it was like this one. Wow. I, I literally asked him. I'm like, man, is that his daughter? It's like, Whoa, man, man, it's um, got to be his daughter. I mean, she <laughs> was she was nothing less than a ten and a half. And then, the, and then the chick that came in. I'm sorry, came in with the with the plaid schoolgirl skirt on. It's like you think you look really good. Really? Hey, come on. Come most on. most of the females that I know and have known over the years, they have a buddy. You know, the true buddy, the buddy that tells them, hey. <laughs> Don't wear that. that. And dudes, listen, I'm not going to try to just say this about women. No. Because dudes are the same way. Yeah. You got that buddy that tells you the truth. <laughs> like, hey. She was not told the truth. Might not want to wear that tonight. <laughs> and somebody didn't tell him. And for some reason, this guy thought, oh, my God, this is the hottest piece of I've seen him a lot. <laughs> Man, that was, yeah. That was, but it, it was kind of like the one when we went to the Indians game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We, there was behind us in line, and then yeah. we seen him right behind the backstop <laughs> when they got, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Sugar daddy all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's like, come on. But, yeah, there was so on, much money. On, I mean, the dudes walked by on the front row, and they had their, you know what I mean, like their, <laughs> you know, four thousand dollar gucci suits on right you know what i mean and they walk by and you could just smell money yeah and then you look around and you see the one and the ass sitting right in the middle yep <laughs> buddy <laughs> if you only knew how far our pay gap was hey, hey, keep that man keep that more money more problems right right what up but Christy? i'd like to Hi, have the, i'd love to have oh, them Dustin. damn problems no, I, no, I don't want the problems. I want we the have the money. money. Yeah, I mean, I they they the got a whole different. Rich people got a whole set of, different set of problems. Until Daddy wants the sugar. <laughs> yep. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, so right. The <laughs> so the Pacers. Yes, Pacers. Let's talk about the Pacers. Six six wins in a row, going for seven to go up against the number one team in the East right now. They're losing, but. This is the last game of the, uh, you know, the, the first part of the season until the All Star break this weekend. Right. Um, they it's started a big off win for both of these teams going into All Star break. Yeah, they started off um, a little sluggish when Victor went down, and mm -hmm. they knew that he wasn't coming back. The first two games um, didn't play very well. Right. Oh, good. This talks to lead us right into some of the trades for the uh, – okay. There you go. But anyway. There you go. Yes, it's flowing. That was a, that was a, a, it's a, a mental note. Sneak mental peek note. segue. Yeah, mental note. <laughs> so, uh, first two games, they didn't play well. Uh, nobody really played well. And uh, the losses reflected it because you shouldn't have lost to Washington. And I can remember the other one they lost to. Um, but Kimba Walker is not coming to the Pacers, John. <laughs> <laughs> Kimba Walker is not coming to the Pacers. But I do like how they've played since then. Um, Boyan Bogdanovich has, I mean, he was playing excellent yes. ball. Yes, I'm Christie's trophy husband. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's been playing good ball all season anyway. Uh, but since the, the last couple of games, he has amped his game up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, he is showing more of his game. He can put the ball on the floor and get to the cup and get to the cup and score. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like he can just, you know, drive in there and just oh, throw something up. But he gets in there and he gets and ones. He shoots over 80% from the free throw line. And he shoots over what is, he's shooting over forty percent from the three point line. Uh, yeah, like so I mean he's I mean he's playing great ball right now, and Collison you know is is I mean he's been playing good ball. He stepped up his yeah. jumper, his mid range game is and that's a pretty is outstanding because we saw it up that's close. A pretty we shot. got those so his his pump fake two dribble pull up yeah is 
is hey, that's pro, that's a pro move. That's yeah, obviously, cool. he's in the pros, but that's a really good move. And he's consistent. I mean, I think he shoots a very high percentage when he does that right there at the elbows. Um, Sabonis, Turner, um, Young, that's a core of bigs that I can trade. Mm-mm for anybody in the league. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Those three work very well together. They complement each other. Um, they know where each other is going to be on defense and offense. And this is a really good team that the that that is forming well without their quote-unquote star. star. Yeah. Um, I, and I hate that word. I mean, I'm not ta- trying to take anything away from Oladipo at good. all. At all. Because he is damn good. But – my thing is, why do you continuously say, oh, we lost our star? When you, ha- when you look at the court and you look at Miles Turner, you look at uh, uh, what's your boy's name? Sabon- what's his first name? Sabonis? Domas. Domas. Domas Sabonis. The pickup that we made at the, at the uh, point. Yeah, I was going to get to that here in a second. Yeah, I was going to get to that in a second. Wesley no, no, Matthews. Matthews. Matthews, yes. That's a heck of a pickup. I really thought they were going to go after uh, Conley to begin with, but you know, after after seeing them get, uh, uh, yeah, what was his name? I'm trying to. Make, sorry, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, and and yeah. and one, I don't think Conley would be a good fit for this team. No, he is a ball dominant guard. He likes to pound the ball, yeah, and this team, team is, is a is. A, is a movement team. I'm going to tell you right now. You remember a couple weeks ago that we were talking about the big man game? You yes. remember hearing about that? You the know big how man we were game. talking about the big man game a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago? I'm kind of seeing it in this Pacer team. However, they, the, their big men are stretch fives. Right. Or stretch fours, you know, they're, all around. They're, the they're capable of playing both games is what you're saying. Yeah. They're uh, versatile bigs. Yeah. They um all of them can bang. The they can all score with their there. back to the bucket and they all can hit the face up jump shot all the way out to the three. All three of them. So Yes, I know. I that's why I gave him the thumbs up. <laughs> ah, okay. That was his thumbs up. Yeah, that was his thumbs I up. Gotcha. So um What's up, Adam? <laughs> but so it's a it's a good mix of of bigs, you know, and I like how they, they are adaptable. You know, when they play against um, let's say Philly. They are able to bang with Embiid because they got the bodies, they got the strength, they got the footwork. Not to say they can, you know, hold Embiid down as a collective thing, but they have that that ability to do that. Yep. And then when they play against, like, say, Dockage at or Dantich at uh, Dallas, yep. you know, they're able to be able they're able to get guard out and guard yeah. out on the three yep. and be able to move in. So I like what they got there and. Evans is playing now what mm-hmm. we thought that he was going to be when they brought him in. Yes. Um, he is a very crafty guard when he gets into the lane. I like it. He probes well. He's got the floater. He's got the pull up. He's got the step back. He's a good guard. Uh, the Matthews pickup. Excellent pickup. Mm-hmm. Excellent pickup. He, he started the, you know, his first game was the other yes. night, right? Yep. And he was what, like two for 10 or so, but. The two big threes. But we've but mm-hmm. we've also seen what he can do for the past what? He's been in the league ten years. Nine, okay. So we've seen everybody knows what he can do. You do have to give him a game or two to get back in the in the sync with, with this new, you know, the new offense, the new team and everything else. Right, because he had I think he was in Dallas for three years and he had a pretty good pretty good years in Dallas. Uh actually got his name. You know, out there, people started to talk about him. Mm-hmm. I think the last, I think the part of the first part of the season, he was in New York, and they acquired him somehow from New York, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I think I don't know right. if it was a trade or anything. I don't know if they released him and then they picked him up and signed him well, that way. There was way. a lot of teams, and I know so New York a, wouldn't have been on this list, but there was a lot of teams that were trying to to relinquish some money somewhere, right? And they just had to give it up. And I know, like I said, I know New York's not one because New York has a boatload of money right now to use. <laughs> I don't know if they're using it right yet, but I don't know. New York is they um they were in that rare opportunity that uh I think LA was in last year that they're still kinda in. Um <laughs> right now um they have the money where they can get 
two max players. <laughs> oh, yeah, I read it. I read it. That's good, Sean. That's I mean, good. but th the difference is this is basketball season and you expect to lose games. <laughs> it is not like it's football season where you lose a game and it's the wrap. Right. This is basketball season and you can lose games. Well, but what, I'll talk about Michigan later. What, 30 games? Just about with all the tournaments right. and, you know, so it. Whatever, dude. We're still going to be a, a three or three seed or higher. Yeah. Where's Notre Dame? Matter of fact, you don't even have a basketball school, Sean. <laughs> we did. Anyway. Well, no, girls, we do. <laughs> I mean, women, Notre Dame, Notre Dame yeah. women team. Is, I'm, is I'm on seeing point. a trend here. He tends to cheer for when they're winning. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Sean. Oh, well, he's a Cowboys fan, he so obviously. He's, he's, he's I, I haven't fan heard. Only jumper. thing I hear Sean cheer is Notre Dame football. That's it for college. I don't hear him cheer for nothing. One thing you can say about this guy here, anything that wears the Maze M will be cheered for. Ask the wife. I was watching wrestling the other day. I don't know shit about wrestling. Excuse me. Oh, see? Sean, it was him. It was him, not me. It was him. The wrestling I know is The Rock, Ric Flair. Well, at least we Hulk know Hogan. Eli's not with John tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. I dropped that one bomb last week, and I apologize right off when I remembered. Oh, oh, ooh, that's a sunless. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, whatever yeah. that yeah was about, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, though. So. <laughs>